sir. You want to try bridging Bitcoin trustlessly? I don't care what you say, I love my Bitcoin. In fact, I'm holding some from years ago with the intention of bootstrapping an IRL crypto project I'd love to build someday, featuring a bunch of the items on the shelves behind me. But until then, how can I put my Bitcoin to work? After C Saint and Crane's epic thread this week on the Bitcoin DeFi hub coming to Polkadot's Interlay L1, I thought I'd try trustlessly bridging some Bitcoin to prepare for the release. So I went to interlay.io IO, launched the app, I head to the bridge, put in the Bitcoin I want to transfer over, and what the fuck? I need Interlay's native Inter token to pay the bridge fee and this refundable deposit. This is one of the UX pain points of the Polkadot ecosystem that we're just learning to overcome. But speaking with founder Alexi today, I learned that by the time DeFi goes live on Interlay, they want to have it so we can pay that fee and the deposit with the Bitcoin we're bridging over, and even something else. For now, no worries, I'll head over to Stellaswap, a DeFi app on Polkadot's EVM Moonbeam L1, bridge USDC via wormhole from Ethereum, trade a few cents of it for gas, the rest for the Interlay token, and bridge it from the Moonbeam L1 over to Interlay. Connect my wallet to Interlay, the Talisman app handles EVM and Polkadot addresses, confirm the bridging, and then I send Bitcoin to this vault address within 24 hours. I do that, wait on each eternity. And boom, Bitcoin on Polkadot, no trust required. Now back on interlay.io, we can see that V2 of their DeFi beta is live on the Chaos Net Kusama. Lending, borrowing, swapping, pooling, people are already testing it with small amounts. But while I wait for the full release on Interlay, let's hear what's going on in Polkadot NFT news from Penin. First, this is your reminder to be careful of moderator hacks. If it looks like a scam, it probably is. Take your time and research before you FOMO. Codadot has been pumping out some serious dev numbers and a new version of Codadot is ready. The Degenerous Dao trailer looks cool. Candy Girls are exhibiting in Taipei, Taiwan from the 15th of April to the 14th of May. Ayuna avatar revisions are live so you can return your avatars to their prior state before the fix. Art Zero summarizes their mint and unsold mantises will be burned. INW airdrop has already occurred. RM Terra still needs support for Moonglade and they have been working on birdhouses. Blues is live and looking nice. Utils migration and first rewards distribution is coming soon. Remark EIPs keep merging. Merge. Zoombies integrates with ZooDAO. Adventus, Wolf of Wall Street movie, and Polkadot? The Chaos Settlement era allows owners to build, with the first game available. A building competition has 50k near in rewards. Exiled racers in real life? They're shooting for easy onboarding with race predictions. Round two results are live. Here's a great remark interview where Bruno explains how Singular will be poised in the future of Skybreach. I encourage people to think outside the box and think about things way beyond game. Everloot shares new lore that simultaneously announces new mechanisms and magic. Snake Soldier's first phase mint begins the 22nd for recruit token holders and the 23rd for public mint. Polkadot Builders Collection is a Nouns DAO modeled NFT collection with daily auctions. They've been listed on Moonbeans and their first round closed at 999 Glimmer. Gamma Gang is in maintenance mode. Don't panic, you'll be taken care of. Ayuna teases pets and battles in season two. Cryptonauts coming to a star from Mandala. Pond Sama has a sneak peek and it's going on Steam? Substra Knights still fighting bosses, DPSers need to reapprove some contracts, and are you on the list? More dragons coming, Manta Wizards can become Manta Champions, and ZK Babs will be important. The raffle results for rare chaotic Kintsugi Bitcoin ordinal inscriptions has been released. Veil of Time gaming has begun, and I've spent so many hours playing it already. <laughs> Public limited play for non-NFT holders should be out at the time of this video drop. On to you, Saint. As we navigate the auctions on the Sista chains, the next slot auction on Polkadot is heating up with Pekin Invarch eyeballing the April 28th start. Sora sits on the sidelines while over on Kusama, Alpha Network secured the last slot with Bayoon looking to secure this one as the slot values are now hanging around 100k SM. Hello, bear market. On to other news as Dot Insights releases their Q1 report for Polkadot with deep cuts on staking via nomination pools, treasury spending, voter turnout, DeFi, XCM transfers, and much more. Speaking of transfers, it looks like Composable has shipped the beta version of a Polkadot Kusama bridge using IBC, with plans to extend this more extensively to the Cosmos ecosystem. Here's an epic thread by Zero Knowledge on Manta Network who have been blasting off with their ZK Bad Binance partnership securing over 30,000 verifiable accounts. 
accounts. Bifrost releases a guide on VTOKEN liquid staking derivative use cases. Be sure to listen in to last night's chat with the team on Summonite's or ship post on grill chat and equilibrium partners with talisman and parity to highlight the benefits of DeFi on polkadot check out this comprehensive thread on the upcoming consensus conference in austin or this deep dive into the candidates of the astar and sony incubation program all this fat contract beta launch is closing soon but is opening the doors to decentralized cloud computing move to earn is coming natively to a star through heel 3 and origin trail sat down with twitter legend greg kidd to discuss how knowledge assets could be used in social media and finally be sure to listen to re-re dive into what's been going on with the Moon Sama chain since they secured their pair chain slot, like Bunny Sama, their partnership with Polkadot Now India, and much more. What a week. Have a great weekend, everybody.